After recovering from a dramatic fall that almost claimed his life, Cameron Thurley has received a major setback, with surgeons confirming the 32-year-old will never play football again. In an exclusive interview with Win News, the former Geelong and North Melbourne player tells of his shock at the decision and reveals his plans for the future. Since waking from an induced coma late last year, Thurley has received only good news. But at a recent meeting with his surgeon, the Clarence Premiership player's worst fears were confirmed. He said, you won't be playing. And I said, playing footy? He goes, yeah, you won't be playing footy. And then I went flat, flat dead. I was just gutted, disappointed, um, went a bit quiet. And then I asked the why questions. Why? That was answered with a few simple questions from the surgeon. Are you married? No. Have you got kids? No. Would you like to? Yeah, bloody oath I would. The risk to play again just too great. If I cop a heavy knock, that, that stitching, um, and you can see that in the CAT scan, there's a stitch about that long, um, may re-break. Re -break. Which could ultimately leave him in a wheelchair. Definitely accepted. Um, and the moment will definitely hit home and tears may come is round one. Thurley's list of achievements are endless. His proudest moment being drafted to Geelong with pick 22 in the 2003 National Draft. I just sort of went into an absolute scream and, and ran up and down the hallways. He played seven games with the Cats, but things weren't always rosy. A meeting with coach Mark Thompson at the end of season 2004 coming at the right time. He told me, you know, looked me fair in the eyes and said, look, you need to change your, your off-field habits in terms of hanging around with the right blokes. And my question was to him was, well, you tell me who I should hang around with. The answer, triple premiership player Joel Corey. And I did it. And I finished second in a, in a time trial. To, to Cameron Ling and that he looked at me and said bloody oath you've taken my words on board and you've gone out and, and done it through actions. Eventually a lack of opportunity saw him land at North Melbourne. They said yeah well if you want an opportunity um, you know take it so I did and it just didn't work out so I've got I'm not bitter about it Decisions you make, decisions you stand by them. He then returned home and continued his career with the Tasmanian Devils in the VFL. But since an early age, it's Clarence that's been Thurley's second home, a club where he'd win two flags and make lifelong friends such as CEO Richard Mulligan. Fantastic years in the premierships we won. We won well and we deserve them. For any kid out there that's coming and ahhing where they want to play footy, come to Clarence and we'll turn you into a, into a great player and a great person. With his playing career now behind him, Thurley will turn his attention to coaching and wants to lead a club in his own right as early as next season. It will depend on what offers come, come my way, but I'm open to all offers. The 32-year-old will also focus on increasing his property portfolio and a new business venture. My outlook on life in terms of those next to three to five years has definitely changed um, in a positive way and I'm going to ride that confidence that I've, that I've got um, I'm going to ride that for the next three to five years and really set up, you know, hopefully a, a prosperous life for, for myself and hopefully a wife and kids. Thurley's Roos begin their TSL season against Glenorchy at Blunston Arena next Saturday.